Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 12th and final episode of the third season of No Known Beauty, Known Stop. And I knew this day was coming, I, I knew it, but it, it stings all the same. Because a lot of shows don't get more than three seasons. Like, for a lot of shows, three seasons is the most you could realistically hope for, so... Yeah, I'm not so confident we'll get any more of No Known Beauty, and that saddens me greatly, but... It's just how it goes. Now, last episode, we got some wonderful flashbacks showing. What would you call it? The the Renge candy store babysitting, playing, having a good time, you know, the bonding. I always enjoy those scenes quite a lot, so I'm glad we got some last episode. Now, this episode, not quite sure what we're going to do, but hopefully it's something good. So let's dab on in and check it out. Three. Two, one, play. Okay, I actually wasn't sure if I hit the button hard enough, but everything seems like it's working. Renge? What's on your mind? Asking the important questions. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, wow. But yeah, pretty important day. <laughs> Always love Rangas' excited faces. Oh wow, she wow yeah, she is dressed up. That caught me off guard a bit. She actually looks like an adult. <laughs> yeah, don't raise any flags, please. Oh, we do have some decorations. So to go medoto. Yeah, they really went all out. It's like animals and stuff. Yeah, a little bit. Graduation ceremonies, always a fitting thing to have in a final episode. <laughs> How crazy would it be if you actually got some lines here? <laughs> this is the most focus he's ever had in the show, like out of three seasons. Kind of feels surreal. Oh, it's upside down. I can't read upside down. Congrats, man. I'm sure you deserve this. For a second, I thought she was going to tear it. Any words you would like to give? That's pretty much what I expected. Congrats, man. Oh, is, uh, is he gonna play it? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it is a little bit weird, but if he's the one that can play, he's a good choice. This is a school in the sticks for you. It's a nice piano. And it was right about there being a graduation song from the preview, I guess. So I called that. I can't get over how good the chalkboard area looks. They really did a good job on that.
And that's a spot where we see them, like, diverge in the opening, I, I think. <laughs> yeah, the classic leaky roofs. I remember them talking about that back when Botado first moved. I think he got stuck in a hole in that scene, too. But I can still hear the singing. <laughs> well, I didn't see any... I didn't see too many tears. <laughs> yeah, it won't be the same without him. <clears throat> I can hardly say that with a straight face. It's just so weird how much focus he's getting. Oh, now we get the opening? Six minutes into the episode. Fair enough. I was convinced you weren't going to get it. Yeah, it is the same spot, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, this is what I was talking about. Because they unite there, and then they separate there. You know, I don't think my mind has ever truly accepted Hotaru as an elementary schooler. Because <laughs> it just always seems wrong for her, for her to have that red backpack. Orando Sedu, I think it's called. Especially because she stands next to Renge, who does look like this, does look at the part. That's what makes it especially noticeable. Ah, Shiori! You want to play? Should have been there. It was so emotional. Why does Shikage seem kind of confused? Yeah, what exactly is happening? Because he got guess he's like she wants to say something. <laughs> don't make her don't make her cry. <laughs> or a kind of Oh, the candy shop. What? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, does she just, oh, she oh, does she not know her? Okay, that's what it was about. Okay, I just kind of assumed everyone knew each other. That makes a lot more sense now. The whole time Hikage was like, literally, who are you? Not to brag or anything. <laughs> well, she's impressed. <laughs> it's got big buildings, a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, we're just we're doing this. Are you drawing something, Renge? Oh, we're the cat's the motto. Okay, that's why the cat's there. Really good drawing. Way better than I can do. <laughs> Yeah, she really should have made a reservation. That's her. Ah, <laughs> oh, pretty nice house. I brought people. <laughs> because, yeah, I don't think she's interacted with them before. Is she pregnant? Oh, yeah, we knew that. Never mind, we knew that. I don't know if you ever saw her before, though. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> That's the official term for it. The way she's described it makes it sound like he's slacking off. Uh, it's so pretty. Is everyone else still here? Or did they leave already? <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be open, it just kind of happened. Could you please? Oh, yeah, they are here. Like, everyone on the show is together right now, pretty much. <laughs> it's not quite what she meant but yeah but yeah I guess she was dragged along good question are we gonna slide down a hill on it like a sled how well does that even work I don't wanna I don't wanna try it to find out man I think I used to roll down hills as a kid Never rode cardboard, though. Because I used to live at a house with, like, a lot of land a long, long time ago. Out in the country. So there were hills to do that with. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rejected. Because we know who the true Honea son is. Uh, <laughs> screams internally. Of course, she's with Renge. <laughs> that could have gone better. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> yeah, well said. <laughs> uh. 
I'm not even sure how old she is. <laughs> yeah, we're just one big group today. They can't even all fit on the screen at the same time. Just cut the group in half. Is the baby being born? Is that why she's not responding? Because it would be great. Because I was actually thinking about that. That it would be great if the baby was born in this episode. And it looks like it actually might be going in that direction. Maybe. That would make the most sense given what's happening right now. Like her water broke kind of kind of situation. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> I think it's pretty clear what's happening right now. <laughs> so who's gonna deliver the baby? I I vote Hotaru. Yeah, we're probably going to actually get to see her baby sister this episode. Hopefully. We're more than happy to help. Don't worry about it. Interesting design on the seat. So, I mean, it's out of our hands now. Now we just wait for the baby to come out. Got a handhold for some of that emotional support. There you go. I mean, this is a happy occasion, right? The baby being born, I'm not sure. What's up with this atmosphere? Unless they're just kind of worried about how things will go. I mean, it was a pretty big surprise to walk in on that, so that could be some of it too. A little bit of a panickiness to it, but I'm sure everything's fine. Considering the genre of show this is. I feel like I have deja vu. <laughs> Sakura Hanami from the safety of your home. <laughs> oh wow. It's crazy. <laughs> I'll never get tired of that facial expression that she does. Oh man, he, look, he already, already kind of looks so much older. What a pain. <laughs> it really looks good on him. Meanwhile, Hotaru is still rocking that backpack. Like, it's still, it feels like cosplay when she does it. That's the best way I can describe it. You know, like the one scene with uh, Kobayashi san Maid Dragon when Toru put on. Kana's backpack. It's, 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 it feels like that to me. That's the best way I can describe it. Every year it comes. Without fail. Oh? Who are we talking about?
Are we gonna see the baby? There's the baby. I was waiting for it. Can we, can we hold it? Good question. That's a cute name. <laughs> yeah, you're probably not used to seeing people that much smaller than you. For sure. Yeah, one day she'll... She'll be a member of the school. <laughs> I don't know if she'll remember that promise, but... Oh, wow, she... She grabbed the finger. I mean, babies do that. I've held my fresh air of babies. And then you like to do that. <laughs> and yeah, there we go. The one that's going to school now. Nyan Pasu. And I figured she was the other member they were looking for. I don't want to make any assumptions, though. <laughs> you never know. Don't be overcome for competent. Saying that in front of your teacher. <laughs> yeah, being honest is a good thing. Wonder if she'll play with Kasumi at some point. And who's all alone over here? <laughs> Yeah, your fancy Tokyo school. <laughs> it could be early, you never know. That's, 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 that's kind of deep. <laughs> she already is adorable. I don't know if I've commented on that before, but she is. Like that. I think the backpack suits her better than it suits Renge. And of course, she's right next to Hotaru. Dude. Roll credits. <sighs> well, it definitely it felt like a final episode with all the graduation and new school term stuff. Really can't appreciate these images when it's such a small screen. Which is why you shouldn't watch stuff on your smartphone. And okay, we do have something. The school. This is really quiet. Is that just is that it? Just the one final shot of the school? And then yeah, then more credits. Okay. I guess one final look at the school. Fair enough.
I thought we were just going to get a couple lines or something, but no, just that's the school for you. In case you forgot what it looked like. Okay. That, that was the, the third, <laughs> the final, 12th and final episode of the third season of No Known Biori. And this was, this was a pretty good final episode, I would say. Like for one thing, having everyone together to hang out is always it's always one of those things I do like in final episodes. Getting to get the whole cast together to do something. In this case, sliding down the hill on cardboard. It seemed like a lot of fun as long as you don't crash, but most people didn't crash. And the brother, we actually got a lot of focus on his graduation because his was kind of like the biggest deal because he was straight up leaving the school, not just going from first grade to second grade or whatever, like he's just going off to a different school entirely, right? So that's a pretty big deal. But it was just so weird how much focus he got. Like, he still didn't say anything or anything like that. But just one of the running jokes of the show was just kind of how how much of a background character he is, even though he has no reason to be, because he's like an actual sibling of important characters, but he just is not important at all. He's just kind of there, pops up in the background once in a while when he's relevant to what's going on. But other than that, He's just not around, but this time we actually had an excuse to have everyone look at him and care about him and focus on him and congratulate him, and it was it was nice to see. The guy gets kind of shafted in the screen timer department, so it's it's good that he got that, right? So that was cool. And we had our scene between our uh, three, Ikage, Akane, and uh, Konomi, right? And for the longest time during this scene, you could tell something was up with Hikage. I couldn't quite tell what it was. Like, kind of gave her a bit of a bow. And then Hikage is just like in a... I don't want to say panic mode. That's a little bit of an exaggeration. But you could tell there was something on her mind that she really wanted to say. Like, that she, something had happened that just threw her for a loop. Like, it was that kind of feeling to it. And I just couldn't tell what it was at all. But then she said... Basically said, okay, who is this girl? And suddenly everything just clicked into place like a puzzle. And it just it made so much more sense now. It makes perfect sense. We all just kind of go over to the candy shop and say, hey, why are you closing the candy shop? We're here to buy candy. Do you do you not want our money? Like, you, like what, what's the problem here? And then they just kind of open it for her. So, yeah, it was open today, apparently. <laughs> At least for a little bit. Up until we just kind of dragged her along with us to go play. Up until that point, it was open. So it was open, it was open long enough. I do like how they just kind of strong-armed her into that. It's like, you're you're opening this door for us now. You're going to go play with us now. Like, just the ball then told. That was that was funny to me. And, and she already got a decent amount of screen time this episode. Which is nice to see. Because she's, cause she's like the new addition to this season. Well, Akana is too. And she got screen time as well. So... It's good that they got some some some, some time, and it was really funny when Shioti, because Kaori was trying to like beckon her to go with her for the thingy, but she she takes one look at Hotaru and says, "Nope, I I choose her," which which is understandable, I would say. So that that, that she didn't have too much of an over top over the top reaction to it, but Komari, I think she was a little bit upset about that because she is the older one, but she is shorter, and then Hotaru just like looks younger, so. It stung a little bit, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And the fact that she crashed not too long after that probably didn't help anything. And then we went to the to Shiori's house, and pretty much the second we got there, like even before they... Yeah, pretty much the second they opened the door, I was thinking, baby, like baby, the baby's coming. Because that was already something I was kind of hoping for, that we would get to see the baby before the season ends. So, it was... it. it I, I put together the doubts of what was happening pretty quickly. And luckily, we were able to get things figured out pretty quickly. Like, we ordered... ordered. We called somebody to, to come over and bring her to the hospital. And we didn't actually get to have the, the scene itself of the per birth and the baby. But we got to see the baby afterwards. That's that's the important part. Like, I'm, I'm sure we all know how babies come out. Like, how they come into existence. So, I guess it's fine to skip that. I just would have liked to have seen some of it. Just, like, a little bit of it. But... Oh well. I mean, getting a nice handhold scene between Renge and Shiori to kind of support her because she's probably was feeling feeling a bit anxious there. That was that was that was that was good. That was that was, I'll take that. You know, that's 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 all I need. And then we got to see the baby afterwards, and that's a good chance for a kohai for Renge, somebody for her to be an Onesan for later on because she'll eventually go to school too, and Renge will be in middle school and. 
she'll get to experience that. And they even had a nice little pinky promise, if you want to call it that. So, and now she already is a big sister. We got to send them all kind of walk to school together, which was nice. And yeah, the episode, I, I really, really liked the episode. And the overall season, I quite liked a lot. Like, it was one of my favorite seasons of the show. We had so much good stuff. But I mean, both the new characters we got this season, Shiori and Akane, are both great. We got to see the other girl, whose name I don't remember, that Renge hung out with back in season one that left without saying goodbye. We got to have a, we got to pay, hang out with each other and have a proper goodbye. So, which was, which was great. And we had great Great uh, Hikage and Natsumi stuff. Like, we had some really good stuff between those two throughout the season. Some good Hotaru stuff with the Komari doll, Mecha, Mecha Komari. That stuff was all great. We had some really funny, scary horror episode thing. Like, kind of like parodying of that. That was great, too. A lot of good Renge stuff, just overall. Like, there was a lot of good stuff in this season. Like, I really, really liked it. I don't have too much more to say about it, but I really liked this season. For sure. And I do hope we get more. That's, I mean, that's always what I hope for. So. But for now, this is goodbye. So until until next time, bye-bye. Thank you for watching. And a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.